night, Alice. What are you doing? I'm just relaxing a bit, watching some TV. What's on? I'm watching the news. So, what's happening in the world? The usual. Politicians are trying to pretend they know what they are doing. <laughs> Alice, you are such a skeptic. That's the way I am. What's that? It's a book I'm reading. What's it about? It's a story about a woman, a young woman, who can't stand her father. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's not that bad. Alice, what's wrong? Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm so tired now. I'm going to bed. Good night. What are you doing? I'm connecting to the internet because I need to send an email. Who are you sending an email to? To my boss in America. He needs the weekly report immediately. Why? Because he has a meeting with the shareholders tomorrow morning. What's happening with the laptop? The internet connection isn't working very well. Sometimes it happens to my computer too. Do you have a suggestion? Usually, Peter lends me his computer. Is Peter at home? No, I think there's only Sharon. Okay, I'm going anyway. Yes, I am listening to you. Yes, I'm listening. Who's she talking to? I don't know. I guess it's her father. Just a moment. What do you want? Nothing. It's four o'clock in the morning. Is everything all right, Alice? It's none of your business. What? Excuse us. Sorry to interrupt. Listen, I know it's late. I'm sorry. But I'm talking to my father. He's in Boston now. It's nine o'clock there. What? What do you want? <laughs> I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> Neither am I. What about eating something? I don't know. I'm not really hungry. I'm going to the internet to chat with a friend in Italy. Would you like to join me? <laughs> Now that I'm not sleeping anymore. Would you like to see him? How? I have pictures of him on my computer. And you know what? He can see you too, with the webcam. What? Oh my gosh! No, please! I'm horrible now. No, you're not. And besides, he might be interested. Why? Do you think I need a boyfriend? Fine. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye bye. Oh my god! Okay, guys, don't panic. What? We have to be strong and try to keep calm. What are you talking about? She's coming tomorrow morning. Who, for God's sake? Who? Aunt Mary, the owner of the flat. So what? Your auntie? What's so terrible about her? 
Let me explain. Imagine me in 50 years. You mean you, old, with your manias, your cleaning obsessions? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Don't panic. So, what do we have to do? Let me see. What do you have scheduled for today? Today is a busy day. I have to finish my painting. No way! Painting means brushes, colors, dirt and mess everywhere! As for me, let's check my date book. Date book? I don't believe it. You mean, you don't have a PDA? Please, Alice, I have a program on my laptop. I don't need a PDA as well. I'm just surprised, that's all. You are usually highly technological. That's not entirely true. I like to use paper and pen as well. Okay, leave it, guys. Let's go straight to the point. What's on your schedule today? I'm meeting a client from 4 to 5, and then I'm going to the mall. Why are you going to the mall? I want to buy a new modem for my PC. A new modem? That's not exactly business. Yes, well, there's something wrong with mine. Okay, maybe it's not that important. I can go tomorrow morning. That's very kind of you, Jack. Well, let me see. I've got a list with all your duties here. But what is it? It's always with me. For emergencies, you know? Like this one. Jack! At your order, General. You have to clean up the kitchen. You're washing the dishes, cleaning the oven and the fridge, the burners and the basin. Oh, and finally, you have to sweep and mop the floor. I'm ready. Oh, and obviously, you have to clean your bedroom, too. Sounds exciting. Alice, you have to clean the living room. You have to throw all these magazines out, put all the CDs in order, clean up the carpet, and dust the furniture. Do I have to mop the floor as well? Of course! As for me, I'm cleaning the bathroom and all the windows. Well, I want you both in the living room at half past six for a detailed report, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Neat and clean. Rather stressful, I know. But at last, the flat is perfectly clean. Yes. But now it's us that needs to be cleaned. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Aunt Mary! Everything is ready for your arrival. I'm picking you up at the airport tomorrow at... What? Really? Oh, I understand. What a shame. Oh, no, no. Not a problem at all. I hope you get well soon. Right. Bye-bye. So? What? Aunt Mary isn't coming anymore. She's got a cold. <laughs> hey, guys! I've got the part! But 
What's happening here? <laughs> Nothing special. Congratulations, Peter. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.